about to try to go there. So we're ready to get the business. This surface is clean. Take whatever I got in the bed out. So we can get to it. All I had in was this strap. Let's go. Too easy. So uh, here are the instructions right here. I got a couple pages worth of instructions. Um, my instructions did come with this gaping hole in it, but you know, I'm gonna make it do what it do. Uh, I'll be good without um, that one inch bit of instruction. You know, on these pages, it's, it looks like it's only uh, only pictures and stuff. Maybe uh, some words on that last page, but I'll make it work and we'll get to it. So the first thing we got to do here is install these rails. Here are the rails, slide those in. And we're gonna ins install them into this T-track right here. Uh, we got a T-track on both sides. Um, so let's get to it. The rails are installed with these uh, nuts and bolts right here. The bolt head on here is a 14 millimeter. So just get your 14 millimeter straight, have your impact ready, and now let's put these rails on. Got to keep your knife ready. All right, so to install these, these are directional. Um, you're gonna have this angle side to the back right here. This angle side right here is gonna go to the back. And then this flat side right here is gonna go forward. Angle side to the back, flat side forward. So if you're like me, you want to grab one of these. This is called a channel nut. You're going to need this for if you have a Nissan Titan. Um, the Titan has these uh, tracks right here. These tracks that you see and uh, nothing comes in the, in the kit to fit those tracks. So you're going to need to go out to a hardware store and get these channel nuts right here. Uh, you only need six. For the whole pack and i'll get you set up and allow you to install the bed rack for each for each of those um three points on the track you're going to need your channel nut a washer and a 3 8 inch uh screw that's it now let's go install. It's three for each side, as you'll see here. 
I'm sorry. I'm gonna put in my channel nut. See right here, slide it in. All right, that's good enough. Do the next one. All right, so we just got it installed in the tracks. And this is compatible with tunnel covers. So oh, we got it installed in the tracks on both sides. We are gonna measure it to ensure that it's at the same distance on both sides. And then after that, we're gonna bolt it down. On the opposite side, it's looking like, let's scoot this up just ever so slightly. Make sure we're in line, four and three fourths. Good to go. All right. Cheap ass screws included here. The hardware is trash, bro. As you can see, got shear bolts here. Uh, I don't think the hardware is the greatest. I didn't even put any pressure on these. Uh, the lock nuts got stuck. It's sheared off. That happened on about four of these. Still got a lot to go, but four of these sheared off.
So with, the, with this rack, I do like all of the mounting points that Voodoo gives you. So uh, they got some accessory mounts here that you can use like to drop um, to drop your, your traction uh, plates. Also drop those a little bit lower. They've got some awning accessories. So you can throw an awning on here. Um, they've also got a ton of stuff for you to throw up here. Uh, so I do like these like molly panels that you have up here. Not really molly, but uh, none, nonetheless, same, same concept. Uh, so I do plan on getting some of their accessories. Uh, pretty dope. I really do like that about this uh, set. And I do like the extrusion bars up here as well. Uh, I feel like the extrusion bars give you so much uh, flexibility on what you want to put you know, on your truck. Uh, you can use the inside of those extrusion bars as well, which for me, that's going to come in handy because I do want to mount some other stuff on here uh, on the inside. I do have cases and stuff that I want to hold on the top of the truck. So I want to use, you know, I want to maximize my space here. Um, like I said, if you got a tight end, make sure that you get the uh, those correct nuts here. I think it's called a channel nut. Make sure you get those channel nuts, man. It's going to come in handy if you got the track. Let's do that. Oh, but I do like all of these mounting points. I'll probably put um, some kind of bar for you to grab and pull up. If you want to hop in the back of the bag, so some kind of bar. I think I'm going to throw on here. So some kind of like uh, hand hold, hand grab here. Help pull yourself up. I am, you know, in the 30 plus bracket. So you know, I, need, I need every bit of leverage I can get. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a pretty dope track. Pretty dope. Um, hood rack, or excuse me, bed rack, pretty dope head, bed rack. Uh, a lot of mounting points, a lot of different things that you can put on here. Uh, so for on this side here, you can throw some lights in here, but they got some, some lights that fit these cutouts here. So, you know, if that's one of the things you want to do, you can, I might look into it, see what I can throw on the side. I'm all about building out this truck to the best of my ability. I do want to have some, you know, cool accessories on there. So you know, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let me know in the comments if you checked out the Voodoo um, bed rack and uh, what you have planned for this. If you've got one or if you plan on getting one, how you plan to uh, mount it out. So all in all, I would say that the install wasn't too bad. Um, probably take maybe two to three hours if you do it all at once. Uh, I had to break it down a little bit because I did not have uh, the T that T nut available that goes in here. Uh, they had to send it to me. Uh, it took about four days. It wasn't included in my pack. So I had to break it up into two installs. But if I would have had this T nut behind here, uh, probably would have taken two to three hours. Uh, but like I said, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad install. I've got a couple more things that I want to add to this. I want to add a cargo tray right here on the sliding cargo tray right here, which is why you see this gap on this side. And then on the other side, right here, I want to do another um, another panel uh, on the bottom. So do a panel across this full bottom. So this side I have two two panels uh, going all the way across. The other side I have two panels on the back half and a cargo tray on the front half. But that's what I've got planned so far. I may do some uh, some inner stuff on these uh, extrusion. Uh, tracks right here may do some uh, additional stuff on the extrusion tracks. I am going to end up doing a, a hard cover a tent. We'll do a hard tent up top. Uh, but we shall see how the rest of this uh, day right looks. Like I said, uh, give it, go check them out. Uh, Voodoo. Uh, the only complaint that I had was a little bit of the hardware. Uh, those locking nuts. Uh, and then those bolts on the inside. Uh, they did give me a little bit of trouble, but outside of that, this rack is pretty cool. Uh, I think it looks pretty good on my truck. Right now it looks like a cargo truck because I do not have my off-road tires yet. We'll be putting 35s on here soon. Uh, right after I do my suspension, we'll throw some 35s on here. But as of right now, I've got the cargo truck. Uh, all right, man, P checking out.